For many years, Chicanos por la Causa has been empowering communities economically and politically through programs that give individuals and families an opportunity to become self-sufficient and have a seat at the table. And today, I have the honor to spend quality time with the first woman ever to assume the top leadership for Chicanos por la Causa in 54 years, Alicia Nunez, who will be sharing CPOC's community impact, growth, and capacity here on Subida. Welcome to Subida Especial, I'm J.R. Cardenas, and I'm delighted to have the company of Alicia Nunez, who is making history as the first woman to lead Chicanos por la Causa in 54 years. Congratulations on your new role, Alicia, and welcome to Subida. Muchas gracias, thank you for having me. CPLC has a rich history, J.R., and I am so excited to share about all of the services and what we do in six states, and basically what we've been doing for 54 years. I'm just excited to be here and to share more about what we do. Well, we're excited to have you, and we're very honored to help us uh, host Subida Especial today with us. Gracias. And also, congratulations on taking the baton of so many previous great leaders and, and, and the responsibilities in your new position here at Chicanos por la Causa. Thank you, JR. I'm truly humbled and honored to be leading this organization as the first Latina. And I'd like to share a little bit about Terry Cruz, who was uh, one of the founding members of CPLC. Uh, we called her La Madrecita. We didn't tell them, You're going, we're going to do this because this is what you need. No, we let them tell us what they needed. And this is how we got started. Working together with the community, getting them started and doing the things that they needed. Terry Cruz uh, lived a life of serving the community. Um, she was one of the first few that signed our Articles of Incorporation Bank in 1969. So I'm just honored to lead this organization. In fact, Alicia, it's been inspiring to learn about CPLC's exemplary women leaders near my hometown of Yuma, Arizona. This is actually in Somerton. We know about Elisa de la Vara and Ramona Corrales, who early on opened new programs and led the way quietly to meet the needs of local communities. Absolutely. Uh, I was recently there in Somerton visiting with a lot of uh, staff and fun fact we have over 2,000 employees and 80% of our staff are women So I'm sure Elisa de la Vara and Ramona Corrales and Terry Cruz are extremely proud of the work that they've done And speaking of women leaders, let's take a look at the all-new CPLC office located in Tucson Which will be providing wraparound services to Arizona's southern communities. We are happy to announce the grand opening of our CPLC Community Hub to help folks navigate the different immigration applications like citizenship, their visas. In addition to that, we are also able to provide community health navigation as well as research navigation services, which is a brand new service to the Tucson region. In this office, we also have our CPLC Community School Administration, and it is a nice way to provide that holistic wraparound service specifically to our uh, students and their families. So it's a nice wraparound service. Envision is one of two charter high schools that CPLC has in, in Tucson. We serve about 75 students a year and I, I'm so excited to share that Envision has received A rating which is a, a big deal. We are extremely proud. It is the highest award designated by the Arizona Department of Education and so we're extremely proud to share that information and even more proud to have offices right next door. So we believe in creating a hub where people can come and, and have different types of services or seek services in one area, like a one-stop shop. And so we're trying to build that so that it's more accessible to people in a location that is in an area where the community lives and has the easy access for people to get here. Well, I think with Alicia, we're very excited because this, in the 54 years of Chicanos por la Casa being in existence, we've never had a, a, a woman CEO. And to have a Latina CEO is very, very important, especially at this point in time. I think with Alicia, we're really starting to come back to our core and to our mission um, looking at the footprint that we currently have, she has been one that has supported the programs. She has shown up to a lot of the different uh, events. And so it's pretty exciting that we have someone internally that has moved into that position. Uh, Tucson has been one that we have been consistent, but now we're looking to grow even more and to bring more resources and 
services so that the community can get to a place that we can help them with uh, empowering their lives. 30 years ago, Lorraine Lee started the offices here in Tucson. So Lorraine Lee was the first executive vice president for Chicanos por la Causa, and she was such a powerful voice for the community. We have three charter schools, two in Tucson and one in Phoenix, and so um, it's a testament of what Lorraine Lee uh, vision was and and it and it's a reflection of what she did and what CPLC continues to do in her honor. It's inspiring to see how the legacy of leaders such as Lorraine continues to impact so many generations, Alicia. Thank you, JR. It, it is true and it's been 54 years for, for some change and so I'm excited to be leading and continue representing the legacy that so many wonderful women before me created. Thank you, Alicia for your commitment and we are looking forward to seeing all the great things coming from CPLC. Recently, we had a groundbreaking event in Mesa where we are building a 200 multifamily unit market rate apartment. It's an $80 million investment in that community and it's gonna provide additional housing and an opportunity for small businesses to move in. Stay tuned as Alicia and I will be back with more Subida Especial right after this. Subida is brought to you by Chicanos por la Casa. Join the cause for change. Welcome back to Subida Especial. I'm happy to be joined by CPLC's new leader, Alicia Nunez, as we discuss the meaningful impact of CPLC in our communities. Alicia, it was such an honor to host CPLC's 54th anniversary event, an event where we celebrated comunidad, cultura y comida, and most importantly, the opportunity to introduce you as a new leader. Thank you for helping us host that event. It was such a wonderful night. You know, my familia was there. It was, it was an exciting moment and it was very excited to share the great things that CPLC has accomplished over the years. That night, it was wonderful to share space with Dalma Herrera, who is our board chair, and she is the first female Latina field sales VP at Cox Communication. She always tells me this, that she brings her full Latina self everywhere she serves, and that is so true because she is herself, her Latina self, um, whenever we, we're in, engaging with her. And Alicia, at this event, we also had the privilege of recognizing two amazing Cause for a Change honorees. Absolutely. One of them was Leonardo Lu, who was previously a CPLC board member, and he's also a partner for Quarles and Brady. Um, he, he advocates for justice and is paving the way for Latino, Asian, American law lawyers, so we're very proud of him. The other is Patti Hinic. She's a three times Beard Award winning, winning chef and Emmy nominated TV host. Very nice. Well, let's take a look at how amazing everything was. Tonight we're having our 54th anniversary. Um, we are celebrating in the neighborhood that CPLC started. Uh, 54 years of empowered lives and serving the communities in, in five different states. We're in Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, Texas, and California. I just feel like every year CPLC gets better and that's because of the people that we have working for CPLC. Alicia is incredible, she's smart, she's talented, she's a go-getter, and we're working together to make a difference for our community, and I'm excited about that. Leonardo Lu is, is one of our honorees, and he donates a lot of his time to different causes, and he's just very helpful in the community and always willing to help. I'm extremely honored, first of all, Actually, when I first learned about it, I, I thought this this has to be a mistake, okay? Especially for you know looking at those who have received this award uh, before me. You know, CPLC has been part of of me, part really of my family for a long period of time. So it's it's something that I treasure uh, very much. Patti Hinich, this lady is amazing. Uh, she has so much energy and passion. We had Empower Hour. We spoke to about 100 young women about, you know, what it is being a female in leadership and just how they can, you know, they can choose their path and they don't have to be afraid of moving forward. It was just an amazing day. I'm humbled and I'm so honored knowing, you know, the incredible trailblazers and leaders that have gotten this award before me and knowing how much this means. I. I kind of feel like I'm getting it ahead of time, that I need to work more <laughs> in order to earn this award. And it just inspires me and gives me like a push, you know, in my motor to do more and to do better. And I'm very inspired 
by the work that CPLC is doing. And I wanna have my work have more meaning and more impact and have it be able to touch more lives and you know reflect that. How CPLC is moving forward, we're doing the same thing we've done for the past 54 years, serving the community with our different programs. We will be expanding in some areas. Um, we will look at everything as, as we move forward, but nothing's changing. Uh, services will continue. Uh, there'll probably be more services in different areas. Uh, we're just moving forward and, and continuing to serve the community like we have for the past 54 years. We are here to stay, we are stronger than ever, and we will continue serving the community humbly and with much corazón going forward. Alicia, it's truly remarkable to have role models like Delma, Patti, and yourself as part of this organization. Yes, Patti and Delma are amazing. They're trailblazers and they're community-minded individuals, which is amazing. Stay tuned because when we come back, we'll be visiting CPLC's Early Head Start Center, committed to giving every child an opportunity to succeed in school and life. Subida Especial will continue after these messages. Welcome back to Subida Especial. Today we're spending time with Alicia Nunez. Alicia, as education being one of the main areas of impact for CPLC, tell us about CPLC's Early Childhood Development Program. We've had the Early Childhood Development Program for, at CPLC for over 30 years. Equally important is our CPLC Familia. I recently went to Yuma, visited with about a thousand employees, and we just shared stories. They shared stories of their, their programming and just the impact that they do. Very similar to King's and his little sister, which we will be watching next. Well then, let's check it out. I feel very like time traveling because I feel like I'm looking at like a different version of myself and I'm really happy for my sister to be learning all the great stuff that I learned in this program that I learned when I was young. He's now 10. Thought it would be just like a daycare but it turns out that it was something more than that and that's what made me fall in love with it and now my daughter is, is here. I had King Garcia over at our Murphy site. He was with Teacher Francis. His parents were very involved in our program. They did a lot of volunteering. They would help us set up our playground, tear down our playground. We were able to watch King grow and transition out to his next education setting, which was Head Start. When I first came here, I was not like, I wasn't social. I was mostly shy when I came here. And then, but the more I got into the, the more I got used to it, the more friendly and more socialized I came. And the things that I learned there were pretty fun and exciting and I made new friends. And I remember this one memory from when it was my birthday that I, that my friends and I were just stuffed with icing on our faces when we were eating our cupcakes. They love it. My son, what I remember him just always rephrasing teacher Francis's name every day, pretty much. And now with my daughter, the same thing on the weekends, she wakes up and thinks it's school time and she'll say, let's go with teacher Yossi or Miss Martha. She's just always rephrasing their names. I wanna say the teachers make it a big difference. They're not just their teachers, they're like their second moms. They care about them. They acknowledge their feelings. They acknowledge, you know, what's going on on that day, what they don't like, what bothers them. And then they communicate with us before class and after class. I want to say he's just, he's just very confident. And, and I see that in my daughter now too, slowly progressing. They're more like, they reach out to kids to play. They're not afraid to ask to play with other kids and and it wasn't just like ABCs or one, two, threes. It was like motor skills, potty training, communication. It was more than just a daycare. It is amazing, I love it. You create a bond with the teachers, the staff, everybody here is, it's a home. It's not just like drop off your kid and goodbye. No, it's like you get to, to, to learn with everybody and it takes a village to, to raise a child. Pretty much that's what it is. What an amazing way in supporting a child's total learning and family experience. Alicia, your kids, they're not older, but you have a grandson, right? I do. My grandson's a year and a half, and I am in love. 
and I am so in love with him that I wish he could participate in one of our programs. Well, Alicia, I can relate because I also have two grandsons. And I want to ask you, uh, let's talk a little bit about the crucial years of a child's life. Critical years for a child's life is anywhere from zero to five. That is when they absorb all of the learnings and that's why the Early Head Start programs is, is very important. With that, JR, we're also very excited about the grand opening of our new Early Childhood Development Program in Colorado. Wow, that's amazing. It's good to know that Colorado will now be a part of this Early Childhood Development Program that you guys have. Absolutely. That's awesome. Hey, stick around. We'll be right back with more Subida Especial right after this. Welcome back to Subida Especial. Alicia Nunez and I have been discussing the amazing impact and growth of CPLC. Another core objective for CPLC is fighting against homelessness. Tell us about Mighty Families. Yes, actually, CPLC Keogh Health Connections with partnership with Valley of the Sun, United Way, and the Seymour Institutes. Over the past two years, we provided assistance to over 500 families, and these are homeless families. And we are excited about the extension of our contract for another three years. Imagine all the people we're going to serve. Well, that's amazing, and I'm glad that you'll be able to support and serve many more families. Let's take a look at this impactful program that is providing housing navigation and workforce development to school-aged children and their families. If it wasn't for Chicanos for La Casa, I don't know where I would be. I was in the process of moving out. My Section 8 lease was up. There was nothing available um, at the moment. We had nowhere to go. It was a very hard experience. You know, my kids uh, didn't know what was going to be next. They didn't know um, if we were going to get housed or not. They didn't know if, you know, we were going to ever get out of this situation. But um, I assured them that it was going to be okay and that Everything that we did, we were doing the right thing. When I reached out to Alondra in the process for her to help me, we had to do paperwork. We did have to make a phone call, have an interview. And when I was done, she was able to get us um, in a room immediately, um, same day, um, able to have us um, get gift cards and um, gift cards for gas and food. Um, she bought hygiene, so the process was very quick and I'm so happy that they were able to move things along um, as quickly as they did. Because Mighty Family stepped in, we didn't have to be out in the cold. That was really hard. Um, I have an asthmatic son, so being out in the cold would mean that he would get sick and I'll have to go to the hospital. I was able to be in a warm place and have food. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was able to be in a place to have food and somewhere where I knew my kids could lay their head. I'm sure she lost hope, but now Diamond is with her children in a safe space in her own home, a better paying job, and this just makes our heart happy and it just reminds us why we do the type of work that we do. Wow, that is amazing. Great result of all the effort you guys do for the community. We get to see it firsthand, that's awesome. Alicia, the newest member of your executive team is Patricia Garcia Duarte, who launched a new line of business for CPLC. She did, and Patricia actually worked for us many years, so this is her second stint at CPLC. Patricia is an experienced leader. She is an amazing trailblazer as well as all the other women that we've mentioned before. So I can't wait to see the great work that she does for CPLC. Take a look at how Chicanos por la Casa is dedicated to bringing a pathway to home ownership through the home lending program. The benefits of owning a home uh, are many. The simplest way that I can explain it, it's like a savings account. My experience buying my first home was quite interesting. About a year after we were married, we purchased new build, new construction, and it was really exciting to, to see the process and to see the house go up and we started our family. It has been a really great experience because we were able to, over the years, build equity and we sold that first home and we bought our second home. That time we were more, more savvy and we knew what we were doing. We finally moved into our fourth home and we've been here 20 years and it's just been a pleasure because we have been able to just celebrate and. In my 35 years in community and economic development, I have so many stories, but 
One that I would like to highlight, and this gentleman, he was able to purchase his home after experiencing life in the streets. It really changed his life. My biggest excitement at Chicanos por la Causa now is our commitment and our focus to help people of color better understand financing, and uh, we've created, Chicanos por la Causa has created CPLC Home Lending, which is going to be a true advisor, a true friend to help people understand the process of purchasing and helping to make sure that they get in the best products, the best mortgages available to them. People should not give up that dream. There's always a way. The moment you receive keys to your own home, it's such an exciting moment. You are able to do whatever you want. You can paint your walls yellow if you want to. You can paint every room a different color. So knowing that you're building that wealth as an early home buyer, building wealth was really not that terminology or the, the full understanding, but it was there in a way because we knew that as homeowners, little by little over time, we were gonna be paying off that mortgage. The mortgage is the loan to purchase the home. And I think we're three, four years away from paying off our, our mortgage and, and we will join one third of homeowners own their homes free and clear. So I'll be more excited when that day comes. Alicia, it's been an honor to spend time with you here today. It's been a pleasure being here with you. It's also been great to learn about the programs that CPLC provides, like Health and Human Services, Housing, Economic Development, Education, and Advocacy. It is remarkable, and it's been an honor working for this amazing organization for the past 18 years. As a first Latina U.S. born, I am excited and leading from a place of humbleness, dignity, and respect so that we could continue with our partnerships and that we could continue serving our communities and helping our staff, our amazing staff, continue doing the amazing work they do day in and day out. Well, we wish you, Alicia, and CPLC all the continued success, and we're looking forward to the next visit with you here on the next Su Vida Especial. Especial.